Welcome. Welcome to my moments. Welcome to Moon Moon's moments. And today we have Ritu Ghosh, who talented kid, so he needs no introduction. Ritu? But you still call me a kid. At you are a kid. You are a kid. You're a brilliant kid. Thank you, Mundi. And you'll always be a kid. You came to me as a child with one of the finest scripts I have ever read. And, and that's I've the only film I've done with you. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> I've always thought it was your best film, your first film. And uh, what I admired in you at that moment, at that meeting, was your ability to write such a beautiful script. It had perfect circular motion with the ending, uh, which followed from dramatic rise and falls and all the subplots together. And you have stuck to that in all the films of yours that I have seen, which is very, very rare in Bengali cinema. I still Often remember having come to your Bombay apartment and I was reading out the script to you and you, you first were sitting here me, on the floor. Yes. Are you a dancer? <laughs> because of your hand movements. I had never seen an actor who is noticing me so intently, at the same time, not missing out on the nuances of the script. It was so difficult too because you read every character distinctly as he or she should be spoke and acted. You, you know, you brought across the film when you were actually reading your script. And that is, I think, as a good director, as a great director, who's won many awards, made popular films, I think that has been your biggest plus point. Do you agree? Possible. Without being too humble. Possible. I think, I think I can. Uh, later, when I worked with uh, relative freshers, I mean, one prime example is Raima, Dolu as we call her. So, um, and uh, Ria now, but Ria came to me with some kind of an experience. She was not completely inexperienced as an actor when I started working with her, and it, these are two brilliant experiences, but they are not the same. Two different kind of brilliant experiences working with your One two daughters. One you taught like a yes. puppet, made her do everything you wanted. It's not exactly like girl, a puppet, uh, Mundi. It is. Almost, it is almost. seen as she has been parroting me. It is not that. No, not I think parroting, but giving her the reins. You know, sort of reining her in, letting her go. Uh, with me, I Raima is like bringing words. up a child. Probably. I yesterday, yesterday only, I was talking to Vidya, and she. I mean, and uh, I, I could make out that she was. I mean, Raima was next to Vidya. Vidya was calling me. She has looked at the stills of of the latest film that I done with Raima and she said, no, in the next film, Ritu, you have to make me look half as pretty as Raima is. I don't, half as pretty They're is enough. Beautiful, so. so, yeah. So then, uh, Raima is complaining, now you're more fond of Ria than her. I said, no, Raima is my daughter and Ria is my newfound friend. And with this, she then, is like that. And actually. where do I feature the dress? <laughs> I didn't know that you wanted to get into it. As they be chosen, really. <laughs> <laughs> we leave it at that. No? But again, I was talking about your script writing mm. ability. The second thing I've noticed in you, which is wonderful, and I didn't really get it. I've, I've done about 80 films, and I've worked with about 10, 15 very good directors. But I have never had the opportunity to work with somebody who can actually sit there, change his gender, and show the actress exactly what he wants, which is so easy. And then leaving them room to improvise or to give in that framework. It's, it's, it's absolutely... You, I've seen you doing that with Raima, I've seen you doing that with Ria. Then after a point you've left Ria alone and let her do what she likes. But as I an artist, one I would be very lucky. Also, uh, Mundi, sort of changed my gender and directed my male actors. Also, knowing I'm the, sure. Knowing I've only the, seen you with I'm the... that you find me in as, as a creative artist, if I... Mm, if that's not too pompous a term to describe not oneself. At all. Not at all. But uh, when I direct Jishu or I direct Mumba, I, I think the best way to, I have never trained myself in acting. I have never trained myself in formally in filmmaking either. It is, it is my instinctive reaction to the medium, which I have honed with a certain amount of technical uh, finesse uh, through my advertising career. But when I have started, I, it was almost I was pushed to direct actors. Advertising, I was directing props. And when I came to feature filmmaking, I was directing actors. And sure, I, was all, I mean, actors are almost yes, like props. And they? then I realized that the best way 
I had to find out a way for myself to coach my actor or, or at least guide my actor. Then I found out that the best way is to interact with the environment and the co-actor. With, with my space, with, with uh, my co-actor, with, with the entire ambience, which is why I take a lot of pain and care in getting my, the environment right. That's if half the, the actor, battle Yes, if the actor is in the proper clothes, gets into the proper space and if he or she is feeling like that, okay, we are in my, Lord, I am in my bedroom, then, then it's, I mean, right. naturally there is a sort of ease and comfort that you have offered the person. Mm -mm. It makes a lot of difference. Yes, that is, but that also comes because you see your script so clearly in your eye, you know exactly what you want from your actor at that time. You know it, so it's also easier for you to create situations and that that becomes a hindrance Does it? also yes because i write my script when i write my script i write it as an actor oh, i not as someone who's seeing the complete I'm, story no, no as as a director but when i'm writing my lines dialogues i normally prefer dis dictating my script rather than writing them myself so that it, the lines are spoken or even intended with the proper pause scansion emphasis which eventually my actor has to render. Right. So it is therefore when I'm asked the uh, question, I mean, it, this is, uh, I don't know how many times I have answered this question. Why don't you do Hindi films? Or why aren't you comfortable? Because I don't know Hindi language so well. Is the so language I've really that important in a film? Because when I'm writing my own lines and my lines Your become lines the foundation, foundation for my actor's performance, Th then I feel that the lines are a bit important. Because Bengali cinema does derive from the theatre and the lines are very important. Yes. I would say like yes. in yes. South Indian films yes. a lot. Yes. But these are, I would say, baby actors. Now, you worked with huge stalwarts. You worked with Raki, you worked with Shurmila, you worked with Amitabh Bachchan. Very lucky to Upper, have done Reena that. What is, and Reena Di. What, Aparna Sen, what is the difference? I mean, how was it, just how was it, working with Amitabh, how was it working with Shurmila to go? Uh, my method or my approach towards my actor doesn't change with a veteran or a newcomer. You assume that they are willing to do what you want? Yes, firstly. I mean, uh, I think it's a uh, work done out of mutual respect. So there is no stargazing. And my unit, I think. Well, they uh, might be stargazing you. Uh, no, I get a strong support from my unit because there is no, nothing called stargazing in my unit. Uh, I mean, every actor is accorded the importance or the respect that is due to them as an actor, not as a star. So, uh, which eventually, I think, puts the actor concern in some sort of ease and comfort and they are performing with complete grace and ease. <laughs>